plastic made in the world, it's coming from the United States. There's a very huge corporate interest in maintaining production of plastics. This is what the ocean looks like 2,000 miles from the California coast. Now this is roughly three football fields netted and consolidated into one jar. But keep in mind, there are nine million football fields of area in the North Pacific, and it all looks like this. So we can't mine this area with giant nets to, to clean this problem. The only fix is a cultural fix by changing our use of plastics. We decided while we're at sea to get the nation's attention by building a boat out of the same plastic trash we consume every day. So we built a boat out of 15,000 plastic bottles, old fishing nets to hold those bottles together, and 20 sailboat masts and airplane wings to make a flat deck. We've had three high schools provide us with bottles, help us make pontoons. It very quickly became a project much bigger than ourselves. And just slip on the bottles. Yep, leaving tomorrow. Yeah, I seen you on the news. Oh, cool. Today is the final preparations for our journey. We're leaving tomorrow, so we're getting all of our fresh produce, packing all our canned goods. We just got the solar panels finally installed today. It's like down to the wire. I've been um, working in marine debris about as long as Marcus, since 2004. I used to work for NOAA. It's pretty solid. It's really solid. We're not going to sink. I'm a little nervous, the same kind of worries that any sailor has. You don't want to get run over by a bigger ship, an oil, oil tanker or something, and you don't want to fall overboard. This raft, we can't turn around and go back and get some of the fell. We have 150 stainless steel bottles that we're using to contain our water. That's the alternative to plastic bottles. These stainless steel bottles, we're going to take them across to Hawaii as our drinking water, and then give them away to whoever shows up at the dock in Honolulu. I'm ready to go. James Baker, the man who sent me to the Gulf War, said we had a written policy that we would go to war Testing one, to defend two. access to petroleum in the Persian Gulf. It's not why Test I joined the Marine Corps, Test not one, why two. I Test chose one, to serve my two. country. Test. His experience in the Gulf War showed him the true cost of war, that our fight there is for, for cheap oil, for energy. To get our country off of petroleum and the products that come from it. Not sustainable, not in the best interest of of me and my fellow citizens. So I'm raising this flag to take back my country. It's a flag off my, my stepfather's coffin. I'm ready to go, I'm excited. I mean, we have so many people here to, to see us off. It's, it's been an amazing project. I mean, this was a drawing on paper less than three months ago. Three months later, we have a boat and we're set to sail to Hawaii in about three hours. Use a plastic bag for for 10 minutes to, to carry groceries from the store to your car to your home and then throw it away or use it to pick up pet waste or put more trash in and then send to a landfill it it doesn't make any sense because the stuff never goes away we we know we can't keep doing this we have a limited space in which we live what we're doing to to the oceans and ultimately to ourselves is wrong and our actions on land are having profound impacts on, on marine ecosystems, on marine wildlife, and it's our ignorance here on land. So I feel like we have an opportunity to, to make a small difference, and, and that's kind of what keeps us, keeps us going. We are all responsible. Recycling is one solution, smart packaging is another, but there are two solutions that are working around the world. Number one, support legislation that diminishes the use of disposable plastics in your community. Number two, bring your own. Bring your own stainless steel water bottle 
and your own canvas bag. The age of disposable plastics is over. Quando tu tens de fazer coisas difíceis, quando tu tens de fazer coisas difíceis. Do do do.